my YouTube family. What's up, guys? Back again. Alex decided to join us once again for another video, finally. Um, today's video is going to be me trying Eastern European foods. And that's not to say that I've never had any before, but I mean, there's plenty to go around, so there's plenty that I haven't tried before. Yeah, so we just decided to do a video of, of essentially um, me trying whatever it is that he puts in front of me. So today he went to the Russian store, picked up a few things, and I have no idea what he picked, but hopefully it'll be a good video. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Close the door, baby. I need to show the camera. Oh, <laughs> you gotta tell them what. Okay, it is. so the first thing is borscht. Okay. Borscht is basically um, traditional Ukrainian soup. It's traditional Ukrainian beet soup with uh, beef. So let me show you guys what borscht is. Let's see. Make sure that you guys can see that. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see it. Let's see if I can actually. There we go. Please, baby, don't drop my phone. I'm not going to drop your phone. So we serve it with sour cream. So that white stuff that you saw in there was basically sour cream. So. Okay. There you go. You don't have to eat a lot. Just, just try some. Okay. So. Mix it with sour cream. Mix it with sour cream. You know what? Mix it. Okay, mix it. Yeah. There you go. It smells good. It smells like... It literally smells like tomato soup. It smells like tomato soup to me. Mm-hmm. So, alright. Here it goes. Not bad. It tastes like a watered down tomato soup. What? Do you just offend borscht? No, of course not. <laughs> it tastes no, good. Seriously, this is borscht is probably basically probably the most popular dish in Eastern European cu cuisine, 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 cuisine. Um, yeah. the beets have like a a nice texture to them. Okay. Next. That was good. Oh, so we should rate it five out of five. So I'll give that. I'll give Borsh. I'll give Borsh for four out of five. It was good. Okay. Should I pause it? Yeah. No, just let it just go. No. You can. All right. So <clears throat> next thing. It's called sarmale. Or Russians call them galupsi, which basically Greeks actually have something similar. They call it dalma. So those are it's rice with uh, beef cooked, and then it's wrapped in um, grape leaves. So let me guys show you what that is. And we usually serve this with sour cream as well. Because we like sour cream. We're obsessed with sour cream. <laughs> Can I so, have some sour cream with dinner? Okay. Give me one sec. Let me give you a fork. Sarmale. Five out of five. What are you saying that this is better than borscht? I I'm like it better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You like them better? Mm-hmm. Okay. I like the grape leaves goes really well with the beef and the rice. So sometimes some people, so we cook them with um, grape leaves and also we do them with uh, cabbage leaves. So, mm. yeah. 
Good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Keep it. No, keep the fort. Oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, now let's go to the cool stuff. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> this is Kamajets. <laughs> Which is basically a meat, <laughs> meat jelly. Ew! <laughs> Do you like this? Oh yeah! Are you no, lying? No, see, because this is good. <laughs> Ew! Ew! See if I... <laughs> oh, so you guys that can see that? that? <laughs> so basically it's meat jelly. Yeah, oh. you can see it's shaking. <laughs> oh my god! Alright. Ew. So basically, w- what that is is pork uh, with. Uh, it's kind of. I, I really don't know how to explain that. It's just meat jelly. Okay, so just give Do it a Do I try. have to. Can I take a little bit? Just give it a good piece. <laughs> Ew. Give it a good piece. Come on. Is that good? Yes. More. What the heck? There we go. Come on. So what is the gel stuff made out of? Uh, I think it's actually <laughs> natural. It's from... Pigs have some, some kind of stuff in their bones. <laughs> so if you put it in the fridge, it I solidifies. Work. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay. Come on. You're gonna like it. Come on. Just give it a try. <laughs> Come on. Eat it. <laughs> eat it. You gotta swallow it. Ew. Eat it! <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Is that bad? Stars you want to get. It's just like shredded chicken with Vaseline. <laughs> Zero stars. <laughs> Zero stars? Okay. Okay, so that's fine. Next thing is actually two. Those are two different salads, so they're very popular, uh, at least in Moldova. <clears throat> so this is we call this Olivier. Americans call this Russian salad. So um, the second thing is beet salad. There's mayonnaise, beet, and all the goodies. Mayonnaise. Oh, just give each a four. Okay. Each a try. I still have the last thing in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Russian salad. Russian salad. What yep. does it have? Any carrots? Carrots, potatoes, um, salami, um, green peas. Tastes good. Tastes like. Tastes like potato salad. It's good. Okay. What about the second one? Mm-hmm. Oh, give it five out of five. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Beet salad. Mm-hmm. That's what it's called. Mm-hmm. What is it called in Moldova? I can't remember. Just try it, it's good actually. No, it is good. It tastes good. It tastes different. Like, I, I just. 
I don't ever eat beets, so. Mm-hmm. But it's good. It's like a tangier, a tangier cucumber taste, right? Like cucumbers, but more tangier. Mm-hmm. It's good. You like it? Yeah. Okay. I'll give that one. <clears throat> Three and a half out of five. Okay. It's, I feel like it's a taste I gotta get used to. Okay. So, but you did mm-hmm. like the US. It's so. five out of five. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, going back to the good stuff. <laughs> Yay, baby. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we Eastern Europeans like to drink milk and different kinds of variations of milk. So, first thing, something called kefir, which is basically um, this is cultured pasteurized milk. It's actually very good for your stomach, so yeah, baby. <laughs> Gonna like that. Okay, kefir. So nice, smells very good. <laughs> Why is it thick? Why is it thick? Because it's <laughs> because it's cultured. <laughs> come on, give it a try. This is come on. All all students know this. This is well. It smells like yogurt. It basically is kind of a yogurt. Oh, okay. So, give it a try. You just drink it. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's sour. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. <laughs> it's like sour yogurt. Yeah. A little bit thinner than yogurt. One drink the rest. Later, yeah. It's not. I mean, it's not terrible. It's, it's, it's good. just. It's. It's like a sour yogurt, basically, that you can drink. Yeah, but I wouldn't buy it. Okay. Now. Two out of five. Two out of five. Another thing that we drink is called riazenka, or in Romanian we call it lapte covasit. So basically, this is something similar to kefir, but a little bit different. I don't really know how they do this oh. versus how they do that. But it tastes different, so. They say that this is baked style kefir. Apparently, that's how they do it. So, mm. come on, give it a try. <coughs> come on. I don't like that one. <laughs> it's that's a lot. That's a that's. It's like you're drinking spoiled milk. That's what it's like. Okay. <laughs> How many stars? One out of five. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, you like that one? Yeah, man. <laughs> Come on, give me something else. Give me something good. Okay, let's see if I can find anything else. <laughs>
Another drink? No, this is actually not a drink. Okay, so... <clears throat> it usually comes in, like, um, metal containers. That you have to... How do you call them? In cans. It usually <laughs> comes in cans, but they didn't have it in cans, so that's the only thing they have. What is so it? So what that is, this is... Uh, this is Gushonka. What that is, is basically uh, condensed milk. This is actually sweet. What is, the, what is the obsession <laughs> with milk? We like milk. Be careful, be careful the drinks behind it. Okay. So, you don't, we don't usually eat it like that. So you don't just take a spoon and eat it. Oh, okay. It's, it's some kind of a topping, just like, um, uh, you know, when you put it on the pancakes, the, uh, <clears throat> what you gonna call it? Syrup. Syrup, yeah. So we use this. But since we don't have pancakes or anything, so <laughs> it's very thick. It's condensed milk. That's what it is. <laughs> Let me try it. Try it. Thing with a twist, a weird twist to it to me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not like head over heels over that. But it's not terrible. I'll give it that. It's not like. How would you? Like how? Wow. <laughs> so nasty. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'm mad you even put that. We good. That will, I'll give that three out of five. Okay. Um, all right. So, one more goodie for you is uh, pickled tomatoes. So, in general, we like to pickle everything, starting from uh, cucumbers, then tomatoes, watermelon, uh, cabbage. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff. We pick a lot of stuff. So, the, but this is popular. The most popular is pickled tomatoes and pickled cucumbers. You guys call them just pickles. But yeah. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Whenever I don't eat, you eat, me. Right? Yeah. So. There you go. Try. It's very good with um, like vodka or some strong alcohol, or some strong, strong liquor. I know the smell. It smells like. It smells like pickles. Ah, god damn, that smells so good. So the juice is actually very good when you have hangover. I love tomatoes, so. Just eat it. And I love pickles. Just eat it. So. Eat it. Don't be picky. Come on. Eat it. Don't be annoying. <laughs> eat it. <laughs> Wait. sauce to me. <laughs> you serious? Mm -hmm. Wow. What does that taste like? Soy it tastes sauce? like I'm eating. No, not soy sauce. Steak sauce. It tastes like I'm eating steak sauce. Really? Have you ever had steak sauce? A1. It, it just tastes like A1 steak sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, you guys. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed at any point in this video, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. And yeah, subscribe. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye, you guys. Thank you.